Good evening. Warm and affectionate greetings to each one of you as we begin our Archdiocesan Eucharistic Congress. These are spiritually exciting days for us as we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the 38th International Eucharistic Congress which was celebrated in Bombay, now Mumbai, from the 28th of November to December 6th, 1964. Most of you must have seen the video clip of this Congress in your parishes last month. I was then a seminarian studying for the priesthood in St. Pius X College, Goregaon. I was the secretary of the music committee headed by Father J.B. Fernandez and so had much to do with all the liturgical functions. I remember vividly the massive crowd at the Oval when Blessed Paul VI celebrated Mass and consecrated bishops from the different continents. I remember vividly his visit to the seminary to meet the priests and seminarians. I remember vividly the closing ceremony when we went in procession from the Oval to the Gateway of India. And now this week, we will celebrate many of the sacraments the same way as we did during the Eucharistic Congress. Our Lord came to give us life, life in abundance, and so we live in the fullness of the Eucharist. I hope and pray that as a result of this Congress, each one of us, you and I, will understand more the meaning of the Eucharist. What did our Lord mean when he said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body which will be given up for you. How is it that this Eucharist is once more Calvary? How is it that we are transported to our Lord's crucifixion and death in the Eucharist? I wish and pray, as a result of this Congress, you and I also understand more the meaning of the presence of Jesus in our life, receiving Him in the sacrament experiencing his peace, his love, his joy, and giving this peace, love, and joy to others. I wish and pray that as a result of this Congress, you and I understand more the calling of the Eucharist. Receiving Eucharist means also being called to live as his disciples, lives of love, lives as a family, reaching out to the poor, the marginalized, Pope Francis reminds us about this so very often. My dear brothers and sisters, these are grace-filled days for us this whole week. I pray that this Congress makes a difference in our lives, yours and mine. That this Congress makes our Archdiocese more vibrant and the result of this Congress will remain with us for many, many days, weeks, months and years. God bless each one of you.